afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the San Diego Padres and the Miami Marlins. The Padres are riding an eight-game win streak. They'll try to run it to nine next. Alan Henson has come into the ball game now as he takes over as the new third baseman. Alan Henson. Stepping up now, Gerald Hayden. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. The right fielder, Gerald Hayden. See ya, now let's go, kid. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hits it high on, and deep out to center field. Racing back the center fielder, still ranging back. It is gone. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. So it's a solo home run here leading off the ball game. 29 home runs for him on the year, and the Padres bust out in front one to nothing. This guy has some pop in that leadoff spot. You have to be a little bit more careful than that. Threw him a first pitch strike, and he hit it over the wall. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Gerald Hayden. He went deep in his first at-bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. In the last at-bat, Matty B, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. And that one swung on and missed 0-1. These Marlins, as they take the field this afternoon, they've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and, in fact, dropping six of their last seven. Yeah, Matty, they lost their last game. It was only by one run. They should be able. Those are the tough ones, but they should be able to put this one behind them. A pause a and the 0-2. Huh? Grounded softly to the right. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Ready for another chance? Malik Smith. The center fielder. Malik pulls this one into the air out into right field Hayden will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first leading off the inning Gerald Hayden and they'll need him to get something going here things not looking very good so far in this one but we're still in the middle innings they're down by a couple of runs and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going hold that thought though this ball's hammered to deep center field back at the wall and it's gone So it's a solo shot to dead center. His second home run of the game. As they pull within one here, it's now a 5-4 game. Well, that was this lineup's third homer of the game. You know, d Row looks like the boys are dialing long distance from the batter's box so far. <laughs> yeah, the pitchers aren't fooling anyone today, Dan. Let's see if this trend continues. At the plate, Jared Young. No hits to this point. The first baseman, Jared Young. In the air to straightaway right. Hayden is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat. So striding in, Gerald Hayden, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Mejia at second with two down.
Hard hit ball to second. Scooped up. You're down! You're down! Throw in He's time, down. and the side is retired. Digging in, Jared Young. And he hasn't quite had the same fortune at the plate as many of his teammates. No hits for him so far. Ready with two balls and a strike. Heading out towards shallow right. Hayden has the best for this one, so he'll take it for the first down. Now with the plate, Julio Ramos. No career numbers to talk about for this matchup. Ramos. Hit in the air to right field. Hayden is there. Two down. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. All set to start the ninth in this one. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Gerald Hayden. They look like they're up against it here. Down three on the road trying to come back against a closer. Hey, here we go. Come on now. Come From the stretch, here's the pitch. Line nice towards pick, center field. And that find finds some find outfield find grass. It's a base hit. With that, the inning opens with the Padres getting their leadoff man on base. Hey, excellent job right there. Leading off the inning with a base hit. We got to keep this line moving. We cannot stop. Nobody can make an out. We have to find a way to put two men, maybe three men, put some pressure on this defense. Right guy, right place. Let's go, baby. Hey, clutch up right here. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Hit out towards second. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will go no Excellent. further than Good second job. as there are two aboard now. Dan, I'll tell you, it doesn't matter what it looks like right there. That lawn dart felt so good. Oh, Dero, this guy's been due. He really needed that one. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ball game. None out, runners at first and second. Here's a shot to right field, and that's going to be in for a base hit. Hayden rounds third and is digging for the plate. He comes across to score as they now trail by only two. And they did some damage offensively in this one, enough to get the win, and this man led the charge. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he wound up with three quarters of the cycle. Couldn't get the toughest one of them all, a triple, but it was still an outstanding showing with the bat. A close one, 9-8 to eight at the end of the game in this one. The Miami Marlins came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Steve Diaz claims the win out of the pen his first. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For